with all the kerfuffle over the last few weeks about Andy going back to school and me leaving work and Anna starting college and university and Lucy getting into her GCSE final year. The one person who hasn't yet had a chat about their significant educational change is this one. But Amy started secondary school, what, two weeks ago? Yeah. Two, three weeks ago? Um, in year seven now, has to wear a tie for school now. How are you finding big school? Pretty good. Is it good? Yeah. Oh, can't hold my finger up right. You enjoying it? Yeah. Better than primary school? Yeah. What's your favourite lesson? Uh, history. History? I, yeah, really, like, I really like my teacher. You're supposed really to say nice. computer science. You enjoying computer science? Actually, that is one of my favourite lessons though. Two, right, it is. Good, but you like history. What are you doing in history at the moment? Uh, we're not really, we've not got like a subject yet. He's just kind of like going over like what history is and things. Okay. The, my history teacher is a uh, um, deputy head of Priory. Splendid. You're not going to start skiving off anytime soon, are you? You're going to keep going every day. I wouldn't know how to skive, I'm not going to lie. Good. We've got one of them who is at school. This is good. We're all, we're all moving in the right direction now. The only one who's not going to school now is me. It oh, occurs yeah. to me. <laughs> <laughs> the one who over the last five years has spent more time in school than anybody else. I'm now the one who doesn't get to go anywhere near a school, which is uh, splendid. But we need to go and buy batteries for this microphone because tomorrow we're in Nottingham all day. The microphone's nearly dead. Oh, yeah. Don't sigh, it's going to be an <laughs> awesome day. She's not keyed. What kid, what 11 year old kid wouldn't get excited about going and spending a whole day in the National Video Game Arcade? You're crazy. No, apparently we're just sitting in a room with men. Says who? <laughs> Says you. <laughs> I haven't said that. We're, um, you'll be sitting in a room with men for like an hour. There'll be women there too. I'm taking my homework. I've got a lot of homework <laughs> okay. to do. <laughs> but for most of the day, we're just going to be wandering around the National Video Game Arcade and having lots of fun. Okay. So it'll be cool. Early start though. So. Oh, when are we leaving? Like 7am. Are you kidding me? No, nope. got to be there for nine-ish. <laughs> I was hoping this weekend would be the one time we get to have a lay-in. How about on Sunday? You'll need it. Well, for I think the third time in a week, Tesco don't have any of Andy's crisps. Why does it look like I'm in the dark? There we go. And they don't have any of Andy's crisps, which is a disaster. Um, if you're watching from Tesco, can we start making sure we stock the salt and vinegar walkers crisps, please? It's kind of important, but hopefully there'll be some here in the co-op. And it won't be this nonsense. This is what they're being replaced with. The half and half, it's not even half and half. Two salt and vinegar, four lime and black pepper. If I have to resort to that, it's gonna cost me a fortune. Goodness me, that's been a busy day. It's just about eight o'clock. Lucy's still out for another couple of hours, so she's gonna be fun to wake up in the morning. She's out for one of her friend's birthday parties or something somewhere. Um, Amy is slowly getting ready for bed, whilst also putting makeup all over her knees. Is that what kids do now? I've recorded, edited, and uploaded eight videos today. I was only supposed to be doing enough to get through to Sunday, because I'm not here tomorrow because we're at the Nottingham thing, which is going to be really cool. Got a little bit carried away with my wrestling series and did like five videos. Really, really enjoying that at the moment, which is very, very cool. Um, still don't like my hair, although lots of you in the comments are saying you do. I don't, but apparently I look younger, so that's good. Um, I'm just, I'm trying to downplay the excitement at the moment. I get as you can probably imagine, those of you who've been around for a little while and are familiar with my work, I get a little bit giddy when we're about to go somewhere and tomorrow kind of signifies the start of what's going to be a really, really awesome six week period of just doing cool stuff all the time. I've been doing YouTube for nearly two years now and I've met one person off the back of it, which was one true nerd, when he fixed my laptop in the car park. That that one person is about to become 10 or 15 people tomorrow, which is really, really cool. I can't wait. Um, I'm sat here on Twitter, really, really wishing that we'd have gone early. We did sit there for a, for a few minutes last weekend. I might have mentioned it to you on the vlog. We did sit there for half an hour looking on Airbnb after we finished looking at possibilities for October, which we never really followed through on, but to get a, a city center apartment in Nottingham for two nights 
was really quite reasonably priced, cheaper than a hotel would have been for like a three bedroom apartment right in the centre of the city. So we could have gone tonight, met up with the people who were there tonight, had less of a mad rush in the morning, stayed there tomorrow night as well and had a sort of relaxed drive back on Sunday. Anna's mum could have stayed in the little apartment as well rather than Andy disappearing off to her house for a lot of the day like they're going to. Um, but in the end we decided that would have been a silly waste of money. So early nights in store for us tonight and very early morning tomorrow. I've told the video game arcade I'm going to be there at nine which means by the time we've driven all the way to Nottingham, got Anna set up where she's going and made it over to the video game arcade, we need to be leaving here about 7am. Which means I've got to get a bunch of kids out of bed at like half five, six o'clock to be able to hit the road in time. That's going to be fun. Um, the girls, bless them, have got probably not a particularly exciting day ahead of them tomorrow. Although to be fair, they've got a whole day's pass for the National Video Game, video game Arcade. I'd have loved that when I was their age. So they might enjoy themselves, I hope they enjoy themselves, but they wanted to be a part of it, they wanted to see what all this YouTube stuff was all about, so I hope they enjoy the day, they'll enjoy the meal, they're, they're, especially Amy, big fan of ribs. Um, Anna, send Anna your best wishes because Anna is going to be a real trooper tomorrow because the original plan was I was just going to go on my own, but I really wanted Anna to come, the girls wanted to come, all you lot begged Anna to come, so we're, we're kind of... She's really going for it to make sure that she can get there and going massively outside of her comfort zone. So we're driving to Nottingham in the morning and then we're going to park at the park and ride car park and all get on the tram. But we're, me and the girls are going to go one way towards the MVA. Anna and Andy are going to go the opposite way. And he's basically planned out a route for the trams that he wants to travel around. He's picked out some level crossings he wants to cross. He's picked out a church he wants to look at. He's picked out all these places he, want to go, he wants to go. He's basically got a two hour tour of the trams and sights you can see from the trams that he's going to take Anna on before they eventually end up at her mum's house where they're going to spend a chunk of the day because we can't just leave him there all day especially because her mum's coming over here for the following weekend when we go to EGX. But then later on in the afternoon, Anna's going to leave him there for a few hours and she's going to come and join us for the last little bit in the NBA and then for the meal. And then we're going to go to a different barbecue place to the one we're eating at as a group to pick Anna's mum up some barbecue because she's never had it and we want her to try it because she'll really enjoy it. So, Anna's not really been out and about with Andy, certainly in a busy city like Nottingham for, since she's lived here, so like five, six years. So... Hopefully it'll go okay. I'm a little bit worried I'm going to get a phone call at like half past ten saying something's happened and I've got to go and help. Which obviously I'll do. I'll tell you that now. It's safe to say that now. I've told her. I can't possibly leave. I'm entertaining the masses. But we all know if there's a problem I'll go and help. But I'm a little bit... Hopefully it'll be okay. The important thing is it's going to be such a cool day. So excited. If you are there, I guess you've already been there and are now watching this vlog afterwards because the vlog comes out kind of when it's done. Um, but if you weren't there, keep an eye on the channel tomorrow. There's a chance there won't be a vlog on this channel tomorrow because there's definitely going to be a vlog on the main channel tomorrow for the event in the NBA. If there's enough content that's not really specific to the Football Manager event, then we might do a similar thing to what we've done a couple of times in the past where we do a bit of the vlog here, the non-topic non specific stuff on this channel, and then we do the stuff that fits on that channel over there, or it might just be we do one big vlog over there and we miss a day on this channel, but we're not missing a day of the vlog. Those of you who are keeping score, because it's still a vlog, just on a different channel, which is fine, that works. So if you really want to know how the event goes and you don't see a video come out at 5 p.m. tomorrow, head over to the gaming channel, it'll have come out, it'll come out there like 6, 6.30ish. It'll be fine. I need to get this edited together. I haven't had to edit a vlog together at night time for ages, but I'm not gonna have time to do this in the morning before we leave. So I shall say goodbye now. Thank you very much for watching. I hope this weekend is really cool and I hope you enjoy the event if you come to it or the videos about the event if you don't. Thanks for watching.